Okay, so you've got goals, you've got dreams and aspirations of things you want to do. You've got your one thing that you're going after. And you can have all the talent in the world, all the skill, all the ability, all the resources you need, tons of confidence, tons of energy. This is all great. But if you're lacking one key element, you are guaranteed to fail. No way you're going to get to the finish line. And that one key element is toughness. That's right. If you don't have what it takes to get through the frustrations and the hard work and the setbacks and the critics, that are inevitably going to come your way when you're pushing yourself through your comfort zones, then you're not going to get to that finish line. You're not going to get to do your one big thing. So today, let's dive in to toughness. Hi, my name's Mark Gibson and welcome back to One Million Cats, where we're trying to build a global community of one million curious, audacious, tenacious people who want to go after one big thing. So today, we're talking about toughness. And this is one of the toughest people I've ever met in my life. Her name is Pam Reed, and Pam is the two-time winner of the Badwater 135. That is a 135 mile race through Death Valley, California in the summer. And when I say two time winner, I don't mean she just won the women's event, she beat all the men. So I ran into Pam at the registration table of the Florida Keys 100, my very first 100 mile race. And I was so excited to meet her. So I went up and shook her hand and introduced myself and explained, hey, I'm a rookie. I've never tried to run this distance before. Do you have any advice for me? Now, I was particularly looking for advice on how to deal with foot pain, because I knew that when I got 50, 60, 70 miles into this race, my feet were going to be a mess. So I figured, you know, she'll have some advice on how to tape feet, how to look after feet, how to uh, massage them, how to fuss over them, you know, how to adjust your shoes. You know, they, she's got to have tons of good advice for me. And the advice she gave me kind of threw me off a little bit. She said, yeah, you know, when you get out there tomorrow, your, your feet are going to be a mess. You're going to be in a lot of pain. You're going to blisters the size of cookies on the bottom of your feet. And when that happens, ignore it. <laughs> in a word, that's what she told me. She basically said, hey, suck it up, buttercup. What do you think you signed up for? This is a 100 mile race in Florida heat down the Florida Keys. It's going to hurt. In other words, you don't sign that registration form and send in your money because you think it's a little 5K jog in the park. The whole point of this race is to get yourself to the point in the race where you're dealing with pain, where you're dealing with discomfort, where you're dealing with hurt, and everything in your body just says, get back in the van and go to the hotel. What are you gonna do when that happens? And Pam's advice was, ignore it all, and just focus on what you wanna do, and that is get to the finish line. Because, and this is what she told me, she said, if you start focusing on the distractions, how much your feet hurt, and how much your back hurts, and how you can't keep food down, and how you're just not having a good time anymore, suddenly all these things start to add up, and before you know it, you're quitting. So Pam told me, ignore it. Now that doesn't mean be stupid. If I fell down and had a bone sticking through my leg, I'm not gonna ignore that. But discomfort, you can ignore. This, to me, is the key element of being tough. Okay, so something I know I did right before the start of this race is I wrote something on the back of my support van. My wife and my kids and my sister were in a van and they were driving you know, ahead of me five miles and setting up little aid stations and helping me get down to, the, to uh, Key West. And what I wrote on the back of the van was a mantra that I would repeat hundreds of times going down the Florida Keys. And it said, oh yeah, I could see how someone else would quit right now. In other words, I knew I would get to multiple points in the race where I would feel like quitting. And instead of internalizing that feeling, I externalized it. I put it on other people. And I said, yeah, I could see how other people would quit right now, but um, that's just not one of the options for me. Uh, I'm just going to push through this. And that to me is really, that's kind of the key to toughness. When you get to that point where you just want to quit, don't. Push through. Persevere. Be determined, have grit, call it whatever you want, but just keep moving forward. One of the uh, things you hear come up in the ultra world a lot is the phrase, relentless forward progress. In other words, even if you have to walk, even if you have to slow down, even if you have to limp, relentless forward progress. You keep 
moving in a direction you need to go. Hey, I hope this has been helpful to you. And if it has, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But more importantly, make sure you come back here every week and tell everybody you know. Because remember, we're looking for one million cats, one million curious, audacious, tenacious people. And we want to inspire them to pick one big, bold, outrageous goal and go for it. That's what this channel is all about. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, get the word out there. We're looking for one million cats. But in the meantime, don't forget, go do something big.